Welcome back, this is Serial Snacks, and it has been a long time since I've played Subnautica, and I'm not dead. Uh, I've got a lot of comments saying, oh, are you dead? You know, or, where have you been? Um, I've only been gone for two months, maybe? <laughs> it's funny how in YouTube time, that's like forever. So, um, just want to let you guys know that I'm still here, and I'm back to playing Subnautica. I uh, wanted to, you know, a lot has changed. So, obviously the graphics have changed. I showed some of the stuff off in experimental mode before, but um, I wanted to start a new season. So this is kind of, I guess you could call it season three, uh, because so many things have changed. And I believe in this experimental version that I'm playing right now, there's actually wrecks and stuff. So we'll check that out. But I think I want to get started first. One of the amazing things about this game is how they've just updated things to be a lot more lifelike. And I thought it was pretty lifelike before, but man, it has really, really, they've really stepped it up. Ooh. What was that? That looked like a new... F was that a new fish? Break limestone. Oh, maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was just a peeper. It looked like something new. Okay, let's break the limestone. Now, one of the other cool things is that there's a new log type thing that you have. This data bank where if you scan stuff, you get all this information. Um, yeah, this is the surface. Remaining. I do have the graphics turned down just a tad because I was finding that even on my... On my high-end graphics card, I was having some issues with um, things popping in and sort of stuff. It may just be experimental. I may pop back uh, later on to a higher resolution. But I think on YouTube, you probably won't be able to tell the difference. Ooh, let's get a little air sack here. Hey, buddy. Oh, there we go. Love the little air sacks. And what else have they done? I mean, the lighting is a big part of it. It really just brings to life the ocean. If you look back at my very first season one episode one uh, you'll see quite a difference I think in the underwater space compared to the way it is now because it has really Emergency. really Ten really gotten a lot more remaining. I don't know realistic I guess so and yeah so I did take a break and I think a lot of people will probably have questions about that I know usually when a youtuber disappears people think they're dead or they're just not around but really I just needed a break you know I was making a video a day there for a while and I do have a job and I actually got a new job that was um, took a bit more of my time and I know that's not an excuse but at the end of the day YouTube is my hobby right it's not something I'm trying to do because I feel like I'm obligated to do it I think at, at one point in time I started to feel obligated and I just needed like a mental reset of what I was doing I want to make sure that I'm making videos because I enjoy playing the games and not because I feel obligated to do it as, as if it's like my second job. Um, so I just want you guys to know that and, and it doesn't mean I'm not I'm gonna like disappear and not come back. I probably should have been better about telling you guys that hey I'm probably gonna take a, a break. Um, that's that's So that's on me. I probably need to be better about that. But for those of you that are back and watching Subnautica I really appreciate your support. I always have uh, I really love the people that have come to my channel and have watched my videos. So, yeah, yeah. So let's let's get a little bit serious. There was this new this is this new communications relay. Radio test entry one. So I guess they're going to be doing some stuff with this relay, and I'm not exactly sure what yet. Uh, but there's that. Um, the other thing. Let's see. They have the water filtration unit, which I've showed off before. Let's see if I can figure out what else is new. Well, the plants and stuff. I haven't really... When I left Subnautica, they had the farming trays, but they didn't really have the ability to do a whole lot with it. So I'd like to... I've got enough titanium to do one now, but obviously I need to get a building tool and all that. So we can't get too far ahead of ourselves. So I think what I want to do... One of the first things you can make is this uh, sensor. Let's go down and look here. It's called a... I want to call it like a sensor scanner and you need a battery so all we think we need for a battery if I'm not mistaken if I can recall a battery doesn't take much at all it takes so I just need two more acid mushrooms and I can make a battery so let's do that and we can make ourselves a scanner and that'll get us to scan creatures and I can we can pop open our log book and see what they say so all we need are two acid mushrooms let's get those you used to be able to eat these suckers way back in the day, man. That was the time. Oh, and see, there's a, a fragment down there that we can scan. So let's let's go take care of this first. 
to make our battery. You're going to see me going in and out of this escape pod a lot, as I am want to do. Uh, okay, so there's a battery, and okay, let's go tools and scanner. Now, I've never actually used one of these, so this is really new for me. Um, so let's check it out. Records atomic level data on entities in close range. It can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to add alien biological information. Attention. Okay. Detecting increased local radiation levels. Yeah, yeah, okay. Trend is consistent. Lady's talking to me again. Now, I may want to eat a nutrient block. Plus 75. That will not be efficient. Let's wait till we get a little bit more hungry before we do that. Alright. Let's go down here. Is it already getting nighttime? Um, so let's scan some stuff. I think one of the first things I'm obviously going to want to do is make a sea moth. Uh, so let's scan this. And I'd also like to make a sea glide, which is one interesting thing is before I started recording, I kind of looked around. Okay, so I need to scan five of those. Oof. Okay. Um, you know what we might be better off doing is working towards our first air tank first before we do anything else. We can scan this mushroom over here. Before I suffocate. Um, Emergency. Ten seconds okay. of oxygen remaining. I think what I'm gonna do. Let's see how much. Let's go back in here and dump some stuff off. There's a tube in the water that has a ton of titanium, and I want to go back there and get that. So let's put these flares back in there. We don't need the water. We don't need the nutrient blocks. Um, we can put the quartz in there too. We we'll use our storage as we can. And I think the tube was this direction, I want to say. Over here somewhere. I don't know. Um, because what I really want to do is get that titanium so that we can make, to start out, make a uh, an air tank so we can be underwater a little bit longer. That's the first step. I'm going to do this step by step. Now, <laughs> one of the last season, in the last season of Subnautica, I did a build a base in every single biome in every single episode. I'm gonna take it a little bit slower this time. We're gonna we're gonna enjoy ourselves and smell the flowers. Emergency. Ten seconds. Because this game deserves that. And it really man, I'm just in shock at how nice Oh, and I think there's the tube over here. Okay. Is that nope. Nope, that wasn't the tube. See things are popping in a lot more weirdly than they used to. Ooh, Peeper, you are mine. Ah, oh, no. Okay. Well, we're okay. Uh, let's see. Let's just grab some more titanium. And some quartz. We probably could make, if we get enough quartz, we probably could make some flippers too. Should be nice. Ooh, salt. Let's get some salt. Ooh, there we go. Could never hurt to have too much salt. Uh, we're gonna need more acid mushrooms. Oh, we have tons, tons of inventory. We don't need to eat anything yet. Look at this guy. Can I scan him? Emergency. Nope. Ten seconds of oxygen. Oh, I can, remaining. but I will suffocate if I do. All right. All right. Let's head back. It's getting a little bit dark. Uh, we can get some quartz on the way back, and I might be able to even make some flippers if I get enough quartz as I'm swimming. Titanium. Scrap metal, which is always awesome. Uh, can I scan the course too? Oh, I think I think I already did. Ooh, brain coral. When we get back to the base, let's take a look at some of these log entries because this can be pretty interesting. Never had these before, so this is a, a totally new thing for me. This whole uh, basically collect your log, remaining. which is really awesome. Right, time approaches. Oh, what a beautiful game, right? Like, that's the other thing they did is they added this moon right before I um, took my hiatus. Let's get some of these guys just to have them. And these peeper, I'm never going to catch a peeper. Not as out of practice as I am. Scanning them. Oh, got them. So I think it'll actually build up the scanning. So I think. <laughs> Now that I've already scanned one peeper a little bit, yeah, I can finish it off on another peeper. Did I get him? Oh no, got him. Cool. Peepers are some good eating. <laughs> Let's get back in here. Number five life pod. 
Okay, so let's take a quick look at our logbook and see what the story is here. So, oh, we're almost down at 20, we're at 26%. Um, so we'll get that nutrient block in a second. Um, but let's look at the data bank. Ah, here we go. Alien life forms. Brain coral. Okay, adapted to filter carbon dioxide. Uh, assessment, exploitable. Oh, because they expel oxygen. Awesome. Okay, so we know that. Peeper. Edible and substantial if you can catch it. Yeah, they are so cool. Look at that guy. Look at that eyeball. Uh, let's see. Acid mushrooms. Inedible, but can be used for batteries. Perfect. Is that it? Oh, sea moth. Cool, and we'll have to. Well, we can read up on that one later. But we know exactly what a sea moth is. That is an awesome vehicle. Okay, so in here, let's. One thing, what I can't figure out when I looked in here before, and you must have to unlock it somehow. I'm not sure because there's no sea glide in in here again. So uh, let's 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 make some of this stuff. Let's make some. Oh, silicone takes creep vines now. Okay, well, let's just make our glass out of quartz. We can make our titanium. 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 Um, I guess you know what we could do is, since I'm not sure what to do about the sea glide, let's. Uh, this is pretty easy to make. So we can make an ingot. I, I really wanted to make a tank, but. Uh, make some more glass. Can I make another? I could probably make a tank, right? Yes, I can still, I can make it. I have enough titanium to make a tank. So we're going to do that. That'll help us. We can make two tanks if we really wanted to. Hmm. Um, but the next thing I need is to make a power cell, uh, which takes two batteries. And I'm not sure if I have enough to make two batteries. I need some copper ore. Um, I'd really like to make this power cell uh, because then we can make this mobile vehicle bay really, really easily. So let us. The main thing we're needing. And look at this moon. Oh, and there are the birds that fly over the escape pod. Oh, it's so awesome. Okay. All right. We're sightseeing. Um, I think. Oh, I meant to eat, didn't I? Let's go back in here and go into our storage and eat some nutrient blocks um, let's put these in there I don't know if they'll go bad we'll see when I when I when I stopped playing the game or when I last played the game um, they didn't go bad until you actually cook them uh, so let's see now I know again this is gonna be really dark for you guys but just trust me I think the oh no they're right here uh, we're right by they're right by our escape pod, these creep vines. So this will work out nicely. Probably should grab an air sac while we're out here. I don't know if I've scanned them yet or not. But let's just take one. And another one. Ooh, stalkers. Okay. Can we scan a stalker? We probably could. I don't want to get myself killed. Um, in the dark, they tend to be a little more aggressive. <laughs> I remember at one point in time, they the stalkers were bugged and I, if you guys had watched my videos in the past um, they were bugged and they would Warning. constantly be aggressive like no matter what you did they would attack you uh, it, it was like you could they would chase you to the end of the map you could get in your sea moth and they would still chase you it was pretty impressive uh, yeah look at this dude oh we're scanning you scanning you Emergency. come on Ten seconds of we better go up remaining. One thing I haven't done is made a knife yet, although I just don't. I never really had a whole lot of use for the knives. Yeah, okay, so the chip's gonna explode. Scan that. Uh, I guess I can't scan the seeds, but that's okay, we'll get them. Let's get some clusters here. We're gonna make lubricant. Oh, is my inventory full already? Ooh, they take up a lot of room. Okay. All right, let's head back. So I'm not sure. Did I fully scan a stalker? Let's try. A lot of them here. This is going to be good. This is where all their teeth are going to fall. I'm assuming teeth are still a thing. Eesh. Whoa. 
I need to tame one of them and name him Dave, and I will be good to go. Warning. That's still a thing. Of oxygen remaining. All right, I'm going back up here. Let's, can we scan this guy? Come here. Come here, buddy. Man, he is just... Cranky. Here we go. Whoa! I have become incredibly adept at... Oh. Hey. About to say I'm incredibly adept at dodging these guys, but apparently I'm not. Alright. <laughs> okay. Alright. Drinking the ocean water. Uh, let's see. So... Uh, these guys are still good, so they haven't gotten bad, so that's good. We'll take that. Uh, let's take a water while we're at it. Drink it. Yum, yum, yum. Delicious. Okay. So... Oh, flashlight. <laughs> Don't get distracted by stuff that's not really helpful. Um, we could cure some food, which I think they last a lot longer. Uh, so, okay, so we need lubricant. I know that. It takes three seeds. Woo! Okay. Um... And that takes silicone rubber. Ah, which you need another cluster for. So that's where the problem lies. Um, we were only able to hold one cluster. But here we've got our lubricant now. Um, so, so let's go back here. Uh, current generator, okay. Uh, so I need a power cell. Oh, there's the sea glide. Now that's really weird. Why? Is it because I scanned... I wonder... Okay, let's take a look at something here. Hold on. I think... I must have scanned something that gave me that. So what was it that I... That, uh, let's see. Carnivore Stalker. Um, Streamline Predator found in the kelp forest. Coerce or avoid. Hmm. Huh. I don't know. I assumed that something I had scanned had taught me that uh, that I could like use whatever wreckage is from the Aurora hmm I oh well okay so I, I just assumed maybe it was the number of things that I scanned allowed me to do that so let's take a look here so this is actually easier to do um, we need copper so let's throw some of this stuff back in there uh, I could remove this stuff and make it make the titanium for now so we have it. Um, but it's probably better that I buy a sea glide. That'll make my life a lot easier. So let's throw some stuff in here so we can get that more we can get more of that lubricant stuff. I don't have enough room. We'll, we'll hold the lubricant for now. We'll put the titanium in there. Glass. Um, okay, we're good. I, only, I think I only need one more cluster. I think you only need two to make silicon rubber. So let's go do that. Uh, but in the meantime, let's keep our eyes out for copper. Because if we can get that copper, we can get our sea glide, and we can just go all over the place. Oh, look at teeth. Oh, these are so valuable. Oh, there's one. Oh, they are so hard to find. Uh, in the future, you're gonna we need those teeth, so... Um, the way you get them, the, the teeth, is actually to give the stalkers these, like, scrap metal, and then they'll bite on them, and their teeth fall out, but... It's not like an easy process. It's like, no. Oh. Hey, jeez, leave me alone. It's like following your dog around, waiting for it to take a poop. Um, basically, it takes that long. So, what you want to do is, if you see the the teeth, uh, you want to grab them while you can. All right, so let's get some more of these seeds, these lubricant seeds, or creep vine seed clusters, as many as we can carry, because we're gonna need them. Okay, we got six clusters. Let's go back up to Emergency. the surface. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. So we need that and copper. That's like the valuable items right now. So let's go down here. Now did I oh, there's another box to scan, which I think will allow us to do the sea moth. Not totally critical yet, but still something we want. Let's do that. Yeah, so it's good to be back on YouTube. I, you know, I miss doing it. I wish that it was something like, like I said, it's a hobby of mine. And I really want it to be something where I feel like when I get on every night, I'm excited about making it. So if I don't make a video every day, it means that I wasn't in the right frame of mind to make it exciting for you guys. And that's what's really important to me is really making 
uh, quality videos, not necessarily quantity, right? And I know that YouTube will punish me for that, and that's okay. I'm not on it to become, you know, a multi-million subscribe channel. I'm in it be for me, right? And the added awesome bonus is that it makes you guys happy too, and I and and that's awesome. That's great. Um, but it's always got to be about me first, obviously, because if it's not about me, then then you guys aren't going to get the quality that you deserve. So, anyway, I guess I'm preaching about my YouTube philosophy and what I'm doing on YouTube, but I just want you guys to know. I want to be fully transparent with those of you who watch, and, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's scan this Seamoth fragment. Did I not get, I didn't get any copper, did I? I need two copper, I think. I got one copper. I need one more copper. Let's take a quick look around. I'm... I am hellbent on more copper here. Uh, tons of quartz, which is so tempting, but I only have one inventory slot left. So, um, here's another, another limestone here. Titanium, I'm not going to pick it up. Not going to do it. Wouldn't be prudent. Oh, here's my tube. Okay, so this is the thing. I wish I had like a a way to mark this location, but this is the tube that has like tons of minerals all over the top of it. There's my copper and all inside of it. So I just need to remember that. It's like basically, yeah, it's a little bit that direction. <laughs> okay, all right, let's go back. I think I've got enough to make a sea glide, uh, which has also been updated. And I think I showed this to you guys before, uh, but we'll, we'll, I'll show it to you again. It's got like a little topographic kind of map when you when you use it now so so that's really awesome Let me go back up in here Whoop. I love these new animations too I don't think they were there either uh, let's see let's go back all right so now I'm just rocking it we got titanium love this crafting station I'm never gonna get tired of that crafting station animation I don't think and I don't want to make any lubricant um, I think I want to make another battery. Let's make some copper wire first. So I know that I can make a sea glide. Boom! Picked up sea glide. Okay, now let's 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 play this right here. Um, can I? Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's see, let's take a water for one thing. We need at least, we probably need at least two waters. We'll put two teeth in there. I'm trying to get enough room to pick up the stuff that I need. Uh, because the next thing I Warning. need to make. Local radiation readings exhibit okay. characteristics. She's talking about radiation. So let's look here. We need a titanium ingot. Drive core. A quantum detonation which I've got. With a lubricant, which I've got. I need a power cell is what I need. Um, so a power cell... Let's go back here. A power cell takes two batteries. And I think I have one. Right? Am I right? No, do I not? Oh, because... Oh, okay. Because the battery I made was... Okay, and I need lots of copper ore for that. This is going to be a little bit harder to do. Um... You know what we'll do in the meantime? Let's make some other stuff that we can do really easily. I believe I can make fins. Ooh, synthetic fibers. They've changed some of these recipes. Interesting. Let's make some fins. Uh, so we'll do that first. So we'll make some silicone rubber. And then some fins. Yay. Okay, so I think, did it auto-equip them? Yep, got some fins. So that freed up a lot of room. So what we can do, um, well, we can't store anything in there. So um, let's just drink our water and let's go try out our sea moth. So let's see if we can find some, oh yeah, look at this. So it's got this cool little map now. And if we can just go, so where did I say this was? It was right over here. Oh, love it, love it. Okay, so I think it's right over here is the tube. For some reason, the sea moth seems to lag the stuff a little bit. I'm not sure why. Yeah, when I'm not using the sea moth, <laughs> ooh, I still get a little bit of a spike, but that's okay. Right, let's get this fragment.
Oh, man, these fragments take a little bit of time. Bloop. Four or five, so we only need one more of those, and then we can make... We'll have the blueprints for Seamoth. Ah, here, we need lots of copper. Um, because we need at least... I think we need to make two batteries. So let's do this. There's one. Perfect. Titanium, that's fine. Copper. Uh, so how much copper do we have? Two copper so far. Uh, and of course, without my blueprint... I don't know how much it takes. Let's get on the safe side. Let's get some more copper. I always forget this recipe for a battery. I think it's one copper uh, per battery. Um, but knowing me, I'd get it wrong, and we'd go back, and uh, we'd have no battery. Titanium again. Let's get this last sea moth fragment. Way ahead of the game here. Perfect. Fragment scanned. Unlock Seamoth blueprint. Yeah, we did. Alright, let's get some more of these. Copper. Perfect. I think I need one more to really be safe. So let's do that. Perfect. Okay, let's head back. Seamoth. Laggy Seamoth. Yeah, it does. It, it does affect my frames per second just a little bit. This game, man, for the amount of time I've been playing it, I think since... Oof, I want to say since last summer, maybe? Last May or last April? Um, they still haven't quite nailed the performance. Totally. It's okay, though. It's mostly good. Okay. So, let's go in here. And now that we have copper, we should be able to make some batteries. Oh, pff, of course. We're all out of mushrooms. Never can have too many shrooms. Let's get some shrooms. I think I need at least... I think I only need two. Let's just grab three. Luckily, they're all over the place. Easiest thing to get in the game, probably. Alright. Let's go back. And... Battery. Alright. And now, we should be able to make... Some silicone rubber. And, ooh, we can make a lead plate. <laughs> okay. Then, ooh, an air bladder. Um, okay, so I need lubricant and a power cell. Did I just make, oh, I gotta make a power cell. All right, so let's grab our lubricant, which I think is in here. No? Oh, because we used it. Oh, jeez. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. I should be able to make... It takes three clusters. Okay. Um, but we can't make an ingot. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, no. I, I've already got one. So I think all we need, actually is lubricant that's it and it takes a lot of tight of those we need two more clusters so let's go grab those let's finish this off um, with that I think I can get two more clusters in this space so let's do that Emergency. and it's nighttime which is perfect oh no here we go oh, I don't know if this is gonna affect us as far out Watch this. Nine, Here we go. Eight, Buckle up. Seven, that blew up six, a lot faster than I expected. Five, Here we go. Four, We're pretty close. Three, two, oh, oh. Two. Ooh, was that gonna kill me? Am I too close? No. Whoa, look at the pieces flying everywhere. <laughs> okay. Uh, am I irradiated? No. Radiation isn't reaching us yet. I think it's spread, so we're going to need to fix that. Um, let's head back up. And... Okay, let's use our Sea Glide. The, the battery does run out relatively fast in the Sea Glide, but luckily batteries are pretty easy to get, so we're all good. Or the escape pod. And it's nighttime, but let's, let's, let's just do this anyway. Let's make our lubricant. I've really made some of the harder things already. 
not too bad, right? Uh, mobile vehicle bay. Boom. Okay. Let's go throw this up into the water. Oof, that ship is just destroyed. Let's go. Oh. Vehicle bay. So now the Reapers ought to be out too, which would be awesome. Um, and now we can make the Seamoth when we're ready. And it doesn't take much. Look at that. Two glass, a power cell. We've already made all of that stuff. So we should be able to have a Seamoth um, by episode two. So, like I said, glad to be back. I hope you guys are still excited about Subnautica like I am. Um, yeah, and I uh, hope to you know, see you tapping that like button and leaving a comment. Um, so I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for joining me.